Hey, what's going on? This is Akon, and this is a word. Why African Americans should invest in Africa. Well, my investments in Africa, I can say probably started around 2004. Shortly after my Locked Up album, I said to myself, okay, I don't want to be that artist who was just a one-hit wonder. So the little money I make right now, let me start buying some real estate. Honestly, I thought Africa was the best place for future investment, mainly because it was still underdeveloped. I kind of racked up, I mean, thousands and thousands of acres of land just by the water, seafront property. And I always felt like, you know, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Senegal was one of the first choices to invest in because I was home, I had family there. The most popular one I would say is the Akon Lighting Africa, which is my energy company. We're actually in about 16, 17 countries right now in all of West Africa. We've put up about 250,000 solar street lamps all throughout Africa, but now we've expanded totally. The business started with solar street lamps. Now we're actually doing solar grids. I'm building a crypto city uh, starting in Senegal. And that one is called Akon, you know, Solar Tainment City, which is the first crypto city throughout uh, the continent, basically. Right now we got about 54 countries. Every single country in Africa has its own dollar or has its own currency. But the problem is none of the currencies are stable. They go up, they go down. So cryptocurrency for me, I felt would be the solution for Africa. The way I see the future is that I want Acoin to be the trading mechanism for Africa. In other words, Acoin will be the dollar that you spend when you come to Africa. And what we did, we built a platform that allows all the young generation, entrepreneurs, uh, everyone that has anything of value to be able to utilize that value, tokenize it into Acoin to be able to trade it off. The music entertainment side of things, we based, started in Nigeria in 2008, you know, starting with the likes of signing artists like Wizkid, P Square, uh, David O, which is the Iconic label group. This is actually four different labels, four different genres, and it's a global imprint. Africa has always been the richest continent in the universe when it came to natural resources. So there's no reason why Africa should be in the position that it's in right now. I remember telling everyone that, you know, we have a lot of resources. As you know, all the prime resources that's developed every major country are resources coming from Africa. So when I say resources, I mean natural resources. I'm talking about uh, human capital, history, knowledge, marketing. In African Americans' minds, when you mention Africa, it's like this huge ball of fear just comes up when you say the word Africa because they've been so brainwashed to believe that Africa is a certain specific type of way. And I think the fear of not knowing is what halts them from not going. When you look at Africa from every angle, could clearly be that. We have the capability, we have the strength, we have the manpower, and collectively we actually have the funding. That is more than possible. And it's all from just basic hustle because all Africans are born entrepreneurs. Like. If you go to Harlem right now, you're going to probably see 80 fruit stands and they're all African. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you combine African Americans and diaspora Africans, that unity itself is what's going to make Wakanda actually possible. I don't think Wakanda can be built by Africans alone. And I think that the, the diaspora have to be involved because the diaspora comes with a different set of knowledge. I think the wealth is naturally spread when jobs are created. It's gonna be nothing but job opportunity. And that's from every industry, from education, health, infrastructure, energy, I mean, agriculture, you name it. This is our chance to start fresh. I just don't see why we won't take advantage of that.